Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. After more than 18 comments on live television, the 76ers legend has been forced to bite his tongue, and Shaquille O'Neal has no shame in reminding him again, shortly after four-time champion Shaquille O'Neal retired, he joined TNTS inside the NBA crew. Since joining, it has been incredibly fun watching the banter between him and his peers. They seem to share a strong bond that consists of respect and banter. Each member has used the platform, making sure to always embarrass one another. And when something s too good to forget, Shaq s sharp memory kicks in game. A recent example of this occurred when the Los Angeles Lakers legend took to social media to troll one of his TNT co-analysts about something he almost said a year ago. If you read a table with smart NBA, have heads with an incredible sense of humor, you know your show is going to be a hit. Over the years, this combination of clever takes and silly jokes has won fans' hearts. That is exactly what happened in May 2022, when the four members of the TNT crew provide a game analysis. In response to a comment from Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley abruptly said, speaking of coming, but before he could finish, the other analysts burst out laughing in typical classroom fashion. Shaquille O'Neal decided to relive the iconic moment with his fans on Instagram. A few hours ago, the 51-year-old legend posted a clip of his story that summed up the chaos. The reel was created by at Chisa Daily Sports, a site specializing in sports content. Just days ago, Shaq had challenged the former 76ers legend to a golf tournament and promised to delete all embarrassing clips of Barkley if he could beat Shaq on the turf. As you can see, Barkley lost the match. The speaking of coming moment isn't the first time Charles Barkley has used questionable language in his statements. White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, July 2. Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley joined the Greenbrier for the Casino Club S Gala opening on July 2, 2010. In White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, Shaq and the other TNT hosts dismissed Smith's explanation and laughed heartily at Chuck's vibration comment.